Our coverage continues now with some political perspective on the race for the White House. It's a split decision for the Democrats. Bernie Sanders took Oregon and Kentucky went to Hillary Clinton last night. Joining us live is in D.C. is Joe Sapecki, a Democratic political strategist and former state communications director for President Obama and Mary Burke and Stephen Thompson, GOP political strategist and Governor Walker advisor. All right, let's talk first about Bernie Sanders. Last night he was talking in California. There is more and more discourse in the Democratic ranks, growing concerns that Sanders supporters will revolt at the Democratic convention. At a rally in California, Bernie Sanders last night seemed to suggest the party leaders need to find room for his supporters. And if not, he's not going to give up until they do. Listen in. So I'm saying the leadership of the Democratic Party, open the doors, let the people in. Joe, I don't know if you heard that. He said, open the doors, let them in. What's he talking about? I'm not sure. Look, the, the reality is that the Democratic Party has to unite in order to wage a concerted effort against Donald Trump in the fall. I believe in the people that I talked to around the state of Wisconsin, whether they were supporting Hillary Clinton or Bernie Sanders, they understand just how dangerous a Donald Trump presidency would be, and they're prepared to come together in Green Bay in a few weeks' time. And on the Republican side, they're also concerned, there are some concerns about Donald Trump. Speaker Paul Ryan still trying to find common ground with Donald Trump, the presumptive Republican presidential nominee. I had a chance to talk with Ryan about that today and asked him if they were making, asked him if they were making any progress on that front. Let's listen in. We will have policy disputes, and, and we want to make sure that the tone and the temperament of the campaign is one that we can all rally behind and be comfortable with. And those are the kinds of conversations that we're having. Stefan, are you comfortable with uh, where this is all going as well? Sure. Well, I think that nobody rallies Republicans and unites Republicans better than Hillary Clinton. At the end of the day, our party understands that we need to beat her in November. Donald Trump needs to take the time between now and National Convention to make a concerted effort to get the grassroots Republicans behind his side. And if he can do that, I think that he's going to be in a good position headed towards November. Joe, how will Hillary Clinton overcome the narrative that Bernie Sanders, he's won 20 states already, could win some more, looking like he almost carried half the state, or half the country, I should say? Well, this is what the democratic process is about, and there's been a very uh, appropriate conversation and dialogue on the democratic side to serious candidates with serious ideas about how to strengthen the middle class and move this country forward. On the Republican side, you've seen a race dominated by insults, and put downs and nicknames and really a, a nominating process that is not befitting the office that Mr. Trump is seeking. So I think in the end, Democrats are going to be very united and understand what's at stake. Stephen, there was a poll this week that showed that uh, Republicans are more comfortable with Donald Trump as the leader of their party than Paul Ryan. Were you surprised by that and are you okay with that? Well, listen, that, that poll came out and Paul Ryan was the very first person to embrace it. He said that in a presidential election year, we need to rally behind our nominee if we want to be able to beat Hillary Clinton. And Hillary Clinton, at the end of the day, she was supposed to be the next Democratic nominee. She's supposed to be the next president. And she's having a very hard time beating Bernie Sanders. And she's tied with Donald Trump in swing states across the country. All right, guys, we appreciate your insight. The uh, Republican convention is two months from today. You can get more information and more political coverage of the presidential race on our website. Just log on to TMJ4.com slash decision 2016.